going on YouTube. Hey, another day in the oil field, right? Every day is different. You never know what's gonna happen in the oil field. We are riding around in the Challenger. Had to stop by um, the dealership, uh, Freightliner, get some parts. My um, my oil line has not come in yet, but they said after 2 p.m. it should be here. Then, as y'all know, we broke the switch to my lights, so I had to order that piece. I couldn't turn my lights on and off, so uh, because that broke, I ended up having to shut down last night. Oh, and I blew a trailer tire, so I blew a trailer tire and broke the switch. You know, the on and off switch to turn your lights on and off. Well, yeah, once you uh, break the switch, you can't drive at night, so I had to go and order a switch. Luckily, they had them in stock. I'm gonna have to change that out myself. And like I said, I blew a trailer tire. And um, we definitely had to go and do some pricing because I called Love's last night. And boy, they was up to almost $700. $700. After night hours, you know, $3 a mile. I said, I'll just wait till morning. So I woke up this morning. I said, I'm going to drive around, see who got some tires. So I went to uh, Southern Tire Mart. They was too high. And then I ended up going with uh, who, uh, who Dispatch told me to go with Forest. I think it's called Forest Tires. They told me $250 for a tire. Shit. See if I ain't going to get it. Yeah, we riding in a Challenger with a big-ass tire right now. It's getting tough out here in the oil field. We don't think, hey, 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 calm down. Calm. Don't worry about why I got this big-ass tire in the past. See, you think it's too hard. Hey, hey, we saving money. We saving money. Are we saving money? I don't know if we saving money at this point. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Life is hard right now, okay? The least drivers are definitely winning this week. They're definitely winning this week. I know, I know when the truck is brand new. Hey, hey, this ain't for the truck. This is for the trailers. If it's tough times right now, you know, I don't know if the oil field going up, down, sideways. I don't know what's going on. I'm just saying, man, it's 250. Hey, hey, you can't beat the 250, though. You cannot beat the 250 dollars. Cause loves, man, they 700 dollars. I mean, good God. Oh, and it's after night hours. You know, it was after 10 p.m. You know the crazy thing about this uh, Forest Towns, though. I, the reason why this tire is in here right now is because Love's told me, yeah, just bring the uh, truck and trailer up here and we only gonna charge you $40 to swap the tire around, you know, if I bring the truck and trailer to them. So I said, oh, cool, I just go buy the tire and I just, uh, you know, ride up there and get it swapped. Tell me why they told me, hey, yeah, it's only uh, $45 if we come out to you and swap the tire. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm already bought the tire now, but I'm like, you mean to tell me I could have just called y'all to begin with? <laughs> Cause I'm not saving money. I mean, they finna come out and swap the tire at the yard for $45 versus me having to get in the truck, drive the loves, wait another couple of hours. Well, I still probably gotta wait for them to come. But still though, I'm dealing with them from now. They got good business. Now I know who I'm finna get my steer tires and any other tires I need for my semi truck through. I'm going to forest tires. 250. I call loves these fools was up to seven. I'm talking about 700 for the tire, not 700 to come out. That was a different price. I'm talking about for the tire. We got this brand 500, 600, 700, 800. I was like, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute now. Wait a minute. I know y'all, I know y'all watching this and dying right now. I know. I know. Now the police got a reason to pull me over. It will be legit. Officer, look, man. I, you know how it is, obviously, you know, it's just, brother's just having a bad day. I blew a tire, you know, you know how it is around here. They want three, four dollars a mile. I know it's a safety risk, but you know, I'm on the back road, so. <laughs> yeah, hey, somebody screenshot this. Screenshot this. You know life is hard when you got a tire <laughs> in a Challenger. Got a screenshot that way. Oh. And to make it worse, by the way, so I can see the tires back there. Well, you know, no forest tires. But yeah, to make it worse, after I pull into the yard, I turn my lights off 
and the button breaks off. So now I don't have headlights, no lights at all. I can't, obviously I can't, I can't move the button up or down. So I was just stuck here last night. I'm like, man, I done blew the tire. I done broke the light switch off. <laughs> I can't turn the lights on or off. So I can't get the little, so I, you know, I had to go to sleep. I just went to sleep. I said, I'll wait till the morning and get it fit. So it's morning time. We got the tire and luckily we went to Freightliner and we got the new switch, which was $9. So I had to replace this. I had to wait the morning. I didn't really have no choice because like I said, I couldn't turn my, my headlights on and off. But these switches are 14 years old, so I should have got an engine brake switch too because I can't turn the Jake brake on and off either. Luckily, it's on, but I know how to drive with the Jake brake on. You know, it's just when you are uh, switching gears on that clutch, you just just barely push it in and that'll turn the Jake brake off. So, yep. So, I'm going to switch this way. I already took the screws out. So, it's four screws. One, two three four this pops out oh, give me a second i wasn't sure if that was them behind me or not yeah this pops out this panel as y'all can see and uh basically you just unplug this and this unscrews out and we'll pop this new one in like that we'll pop that new one in and, uh, it only takes like five minutes. And if you want, I could have swapped all these out. You know, if I um, if I order some custom switches, like the ones y'all be seeing on those uh, trusses, like I'll customize. What I could do is I could take this panel to a um, like a paint shop or somebody to do wrap. I could have this whole thing wrapped, the whole dashboard wrapped. Really, uh, it's very simple. You know, I could put like a light, a LED light strip behind here to make these light up for cheap. You can get an LED light strip off Amazon, about $10, also about 50 feet too. But that's what we got to do. We got to switch this out now, though. I didn't have no choice on that. So, yep, that's today's situation. And we're going to swap the tire. I'm still loaded too, so I got to go and deliver this load. Got to go deliver the load, which is not too far from here. It's uh, just going to Midland, about 30 minute drive. So, it's the only time I ever slept on a load. But hey, we blew a tire at 10 p.m. at night, and I didn't really have no tire connections at that time of night. You know, I called around, but like I said, everybody wanted, because it was 10 p.m., everybody wanted a lot of money, even forest tires. They. They do after uh they do overnight service, but it's not the same price I'm getting right now, you know. Same thing with Lowe's. You know, they're gonna charge you a roll call. Um Southern Tire Mark. Uh they was the same way. I can understand why Southern Tire Mark wanted more money because they, they're all the way in Midland, so you know, that's a little bit different. They actually had to drive probably like thirty minutes to me. So I said I just wait till the morning. And uh, the plan was actually to buy that tire and uh, just take it to Love's and get it swapped out for $40. But like I said, Forest Tire said, hey, we just coming to you and swapping for $40. I said, really? I was thinking $3 a mile or something. But yeah, I already paid them. They uh, they they are they already over here. It's just they, I guess somebody else called them over there at the shop. Because like I said, they already beat me here. So, I guess they changing the tire over there and then they're going to come over here. That's probably why it's $45, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm out. I didn't give y'all a laugh for the day. Oh, and to make it worse, by the way, so I can see the tires back down. Well, you know, no, no, forest tires. But, yeah, to make it worse, after I pull into the yard, I turn my lights off and the button breaks off. So, now I don't have headlights no lights at all. I can't, obviously, I can't, I can't move the button up or down. So I was just stuck here last night. I'm like, man, I done blew the tire. I done broke the light switch off. 
<laughs> I can't turn the lights on or off, so I can't get the love. So I, you know, I had to go. To sleep. I just went to sleep. I said I wait till the morning and get it fit. So it's morning time. We got the tire, and luckily we went to Freightliner, and we got the new switch, which was nine dollars. So I had to replace this. I had to wait the morning. I didn't really have no choice because, like I said, I couldn't turn my my headlights on and off but these switches are 14 years old so i should have got an engine brake switch too because i can't turn the jake brake on and off either luckily it's on but i know how to drive with the jake brake on you know it's just when you are uh, switching gears on that clutch you just just barely push it in and that'll turn the jake brake off so yep so i'm gonna switch this way i already took the screws out so it's four screws, one, two, three, four. This pops out. Oh, give me a second. I wasn't sure if that was them behind me or not. Yeah, this pops out, this panel. As y'all can see. And uh, basically you just unplug this and this unscrews out. And we'll pop this new one in. Like that, we'll pop that new one in. And, uh, it only takes like five minutes. And if you want, I could have swapped all these out. You know, if I um, if I order some custom switches, like the ones y'all be seeing on those uh, trusses, like I'll customize. What I could do is I could take this panel to a um, like a paint shop or somebody to do wrap. I could have this whole thing wrapped, the whole dashboard wrapped. Really, uh, it's very simple. You know, I could put like a light, a LED light strip behind here to make these light up for cheap. You can get an LED light strip off Amazon, about $10, also about 50 feet too. But that's what we got to do. We got to switch this out now, though. I didn't have no choice on that. So, yep, that's today's situation. And we finna swap the tire. I'm still loaded too, so I got to go and deliver this load. You gotta go deliver the load, which is not too far from here. It's uh, just going to Midland, about 30 minute drive. So, it's the only time I ever slept on a load. But hey, we blew a tire at 10 p.m. at night, and I didn't really have no tire connections at that time of night. You know, I called around, but like I said, everybody wanted, because it was 10 p.m., everybody wanted a lot of money, even forest tires. They. They do after, uh, they do overnight service, but it's not the same price I'm getting right now, you know. Same thing with Lowe's, you know, they're going to charge you a roll call. Um, Southern Tire Mark, uh, they was the same way. I can understand why Southern Tire Mark wanted more money because they, they're all the way in Midland, so, you know, that's a little bit different. They actually had to drive probably like 30 minutes to me. So I said, I just wait till the morning. And uh, the plan was actually to buy that tire and uh, just take it to Love's and get it swapped out for $40. But like I said, Forest Tire said, hey, we just coming to you and swap it for $40. I said, really? I was thinking $3 a mile or something. But yeah, I already paid them. They uh, they they are they already over here. It's just they, I guess somebody else called them over there at the shop. Because like I said, they already beat me here. So, I guess they changing the tire over there and then they're going to come over here. That's probably why it's $45, I guess. I don't know. All right, I'm out. I didn't give y'all a laugh for the day. So, I figured before I end the video, I'll go ahead and show y'all how simple that is. So, basically, front and back, you just unscrew this little bolt here. So, I unscrew that. And we will put the new one in. Very simple. Me one second. All right, so this slides in like that, perfectly. See that? And then in the back, you just connect that to these pins, and then you take the screw right here. I screw it up in the front. I can't do it with, with one hand, but I'll get the idea. Just like that. So this is something simple if y'all get FLDs, if y'all want to customize it, you know, 
it's just uh it's easy to do is just time consuming but i can't do that with two hands but let me uh let me hook it up and show y'all that it's finished all right guys so we got that brand new light switch here with all the bolts nothing got stripped so turn the marker lights on oh y'all can't see this daytime but well, maybe you can't see the light is on right there well, of course, you see the uh, dash is lit up. So, works perfect. Plus, I got to make sure the headlights come on and off. So, everything works. Turn it off. Oh, perfect. So, just waiting on them to change the tire. And we're going to go deliver and start our day. YouTube stores now.